All right, guys, this is our second video you guys are seeing from our California trip. Ari in the back, Dylan, Dylan. Brian up there, say what's up. What's happening? We're getting ready to get bit. And of course, Berkey. Hello. Adam's hiding up front somewhere. And look at that view behind me. The neat thing about California is there's a bunch of these islands off of the coast, and these islands are a sanctuary for fish to kind of just funnel through. So, hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, we're just pulling up to the island. We made it to our destination and this is just absolutely beautiful. There's birds everywhere. Looks like we're looking for yellowtail on the surface. Sea lions in the rocks and Brick and I have never fished anything like this. Just this giant island in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like there's a lot of activity going on so hopefully we get tight. Brian's positioning the boat. We're gonna do a drift. Putting the line bait on bottom? Yep. And what I'm doing right here is I'm pulling about two, three feet at a time. And what that does is make it so that the bait and the leader doesn't wrap around the main line as I'm letting it down for a perfect presentation for these game fish. So there's a California market squid. What I'm gonna do is pin them right at the tip, about a half inch from the tip. So wild, isn't it? Yeah. Fishing next to sea lions, fishing live squid. You guys can tell we're excited. We got like a six rod spread, some sardines on bottom, some squid on bottom. It's still Dylan's birthday. Yep, yep. 25, getting old. Feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky for you guys too. I really hope we get something cool. I'm gonna have all of Brian's stuff linked below. If you guys want to book a charter with Fin Fetish, my first time to Southern California, and honestly, it's a bucket list trip for me. I'm so happy we did it. The scenery alone just makes it. The weather's gorgeous out here. No, 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 it's me. It's you, Victor, Victor, take it. Sure? Why not? Yeah, why not? Pull the wine, wine. Get it for you. you got it? Yeah. Pull the rod out. It's going to be heavy. Lift yeah. the rod to high. There you go, right like that. Yeah. Just like that. Don't go any higher than that. You're in. I knew we were going to get beat. I can feel First boy, boys, boys, get bit. Morale is high. First Big. drift. I got it. First drift. We're on. Stand Sun's here. going down. Bite's turning on. Stand Rod doubled Stand. over on the island. That was the. Uh, Whoa! That was the dead squid right there. The motto in California is you got to get lit it? to get bit. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Is it a flat? A halibut? I think it's a halibut. I think. That was a really big second run. Yellowtail ish. Stand on bottom. Maybe it doesn't know if it's going to pick out. You know how nice it is to fight a fish and not have to worry about a shark eating it for once? I know. Oh, you don't have to worry about worry that Worry about here. the sea lions. Worry yeah, about okay. sea lions. Sea lions will take it. I can't call a fish for once because I've never fished out here, so I don't know. What do you guys think? It's either a sea bass or a yellowtail. Yeah, it's More like a yellow, but then it stopped running, which is what a sea bass does. It's nice. Whatever it is, that's a good it's fish. Right in the water. Feels dense. Look how sure. blue the water is here. Plus Dylan got, says you gotta search your dominance on the fish. Yeah, yeah. Turn your hat backwards. <laughs> lucky hat and sweater. The lucky hat and jacket. Fin fetish charters, baby. Hopefully we got that. It's more than an addiction, right boys? It's more than an addiction, oh, yeah. dude. We can't get enough of it. Oh, oh, oh. that's a 30 pound run right there. Like that's a big fish. It's a big fish. It does too to me. Like I think it's a big yellow. Just real stubborn fish. So when they say yellow, we're talking about yellow tails. Not yellow tail snapper. Related to the Jack family. You guys get those there in Florida, the Creval Jacks? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. We get some big ones. That's, that's what this is related to. That's why I'm not happy. Here, we got, we got color. color. See 
silver. It looks like yellow or sea bass. Yellow. Right where yellow. you're at. It's where yellow you want to be. Yellow. You do a big spin under the boat here. You're going to get him right there from the rod to the rod's the water. out and down. Yeah, just leave yeah, it in the water just right like there. that. Water. Yeah, it gets pretty right there. Oh! There's the yellow tail. Yeah. They fight. They fight harder for that part of that tuna pound. Ready? Yeah, boys! Woo! First yellow tail! Let's go! Yeah, Victor! Let's go. Woo! Hell yeah, look Beautiful. at that. Beautiful! Hey, solid golf work, boys. Look All at that. Right. We're ready to shoot Aria there on the first flight. So yeah. stoked. This is what California is all about right here. This was one of the target species. We got the yellowtail on board. I have been dying to catch one of these and not just catch one, but eat one. Oh, they're so tasty, bro. People rave about these fish. Look at how pretty, guys. It's very similar looking to our amberjack, but I'd say a lot better looking. And they fight, man. These cold water fish, they got so much more energy than our hot water fish. I'd say pound for pound, these fight way better than an amberjack. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead, lead this fish, get him on ice. We got great eats. We got a full night ahead of us of catching halibut, sea bass, and hopefully some more yellowtail. Ricky's up next. And then we go like this to every one of them. Thank you for blessing us with your life. That the fish gods love us for how we treat the fish, how we respect the fish. And believe me, um, when you taste how good this is, after we salt brine that, with the salt ice in there, it's like nothing better than this stuff, you know? And all the fish that we do like that on that salt ice comes out incredibly, like, delicious. Incredible. The sashimi is going to be incredible on that. So refreshing to be on a boat with like-minded people who really respect the fish. Nothing more than treating it respect and doing this. Making sure you're going to have good table fare for the end of the day. birds and you got to find the pocket of fish with the yellowtail. See the outer edge of that right there? Like one so, those, ca down. those calicos get way up in the water column, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just got oh, bit on bit. something on, oh. on the surface. Yeah, on the Woo. surface iron. First, oh, I'm bit too. <laughs> Calico bass for Adam and Dylan. First fish on the surface side. Oh, big calico Bro! bass! Oh, look at this thing! Big one! Spawning calico. Are you kidding me? First calico bass in California. Oh, big nice nice calico. Good job, dude. Yeah, you did all the sink. That's so sick. Dude, that fish was up top. One of the things you do while you're out here, you see all these birds kind of just like at home. If you see a lot of birds, it's usually indicative of a surface bite. So the yellowtails will push up the Big sardines or herring or squid. And we just caught three calico bass back to back to back. But primarily when you do this, you fish these things right here, calico. surface irons. You kind of skip them on top. And usually the yellowtails tear these up. The fish that I just caught earlier. Calico bass or something. Big oh, calico yeah. bass. While the boys are messing around with the metal, <laughs> you got the live bait. I'm back here at the live bait. Trying to stay a little traditional. We are getting Woo! these guys right now. A little circle nice hook. One. Gets them right in the corner of the mouth. You don't have to worry about even touching the fish when it's like that. Beautiful fish. California's classic calico. There's one. The There's a calico. One the, the surface jig. Incredible. I never would have thought these things. I've heard about calico bass. I thought you have to fish bottom for them. These things are aggressive. You got a good one. I think you got a keeper. Any fun. What? <laughs> <laughs> so Woo! How sick of a fish is that? Got the body of a largemouth bass, but in the salt water, way pretty. Look at all those colors. Oh, Adam's tight. Adam's How cool, tight huh? Right behind you. Yeah, Adam, get him! I'll take the <laughs> Oh! Oh, Viner. Dude, they're so aggressive. <laughs> Mark. 
Oh, nice calico. Yeah. He's a keeper. Another keeper. They're so chubby. They are. They're so nice sick. Calico. The colors the on them. So we're done chasing those fish that were on the birds. Now we're going back down. We're going to do another drift. Same spot that we got the yellow tail at. And Brian, you say a lot of these fish kind of just move in and out of here, right? Correct. They come in and they push the squid out from the deep because the squid bed's kind of off the bank here. And then we're coming up onto this little cliff. What they do is they push the squid up onto the cliff and then corral it on top of it. And there we are sitting with our lines down with hooks in them. And that's how we get it 99% of the time. That's like the best way to get it commercial style. Okay. When Ari and I are out here just by ourselves doing commercial fishing, you know. So look at the size of this yellowtail. The boys say that they've been fishing their entire lives and this is a trophy yellowtail. I did not catch this, Brookie caught it. So if you guys want to see that, you can watch her video. In a given year, I probably catch between 50 and 100 yellowtail and maybe get one or three that are that are in or even near that size class. And over 40 pounds, I mean, that's a real one. That's a trophy fish right it's there. It's a real one. <laughs> you hear that, Brooke? You got a real yeah. one. Real one, yeah. I've only got one that's been over 40 and I've been fishing for a long time, so fish of a lifetime. I mean, yeah. first time out here too, so it's gonna be hard to beat. I'm gonna start right here by the tail. Get my knife on the spine. Right now I'm just outlining this fish. For all of my Floridians back home who are watching this, this is a very sought after fish. Not just angling wise, not sport fish wise, but eating wise, this is, I mean, this is a top dollar fish. You go to any good sushi restaurant, chances are you're gonna find yellowtail on the menu in terms of like sashimi or sushi rolls, definitely up there. And we are so lucky to be able to have gone on this trip. Very similar to um, our amberjack in terms of the way it looks. You guys see it's, a, it's got more of like a longer slender body. And I personally thought they fought way better than the AJs, pound for pound. Head cut right here. Go around the peck fin. This is also a really revered part of the fish. This is the, uh, the yellowtail collar. A lot of people will just save this itself on the spine. Most people don't flay it the way I'm flaying it. A lot of people will go like from here to the anal fin, right? Right, and they'll have the belly section connected to the collar or both of them on their own. They're kind of a fattier piece of fish that's not as like the filet. You know, you do it differently. A lot of people will smoke the bellies or the collars, they'll bake them or put them on the barbecue like Victor said. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is what it looks like inside out. And we actually gutted all these fish. It's one of like Vic's prized moments in life. His first yellowtail filet. Big old slab. Look at that. Beautiful fish. See, where Dylan was saying is a lot of people will bypass this. I actually had to break through the ribs and then now the belly piece is attached to it. Whereas most people will go around here and they'll kind of leave this attached to the fish and then you just have your top loin and bottom loin. But uh, I'm very excited to try this fish. So Adam, he is very familiar with the yellowtail fish. I have never cooked it. I have never made anything with it. But yellowtail is super popular to eat some type of raw component, whether you guys make it in hand rolls or sushi. We have this beautiful, fresh yellowtail right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make a sauce to put on top of the yellowtail once it's on the rice. Obviously this is made here, not bought. Um, all right, so gonna try to do 50-50 here. Obviously you want it to be a little more dense so it stays on the fish, doesn't just fall right off, so. All right, a little bit of pepper in here. We got the right consistency. Here's that piece of yellowtail right here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, again, Fin Fetish did a fantastic job cleaning the fish, bleeding it out, putting it on like a salt ice brine right away. So great texture. It just It's a super like buttery fish if you guys notice. Fish that grow in cold water have a much more fattier, oilier texture. They have more flavor. Fat is flavor. That's why you guys like steak, like a ribeye steak. The reason it tastes good is because it has fat content. What I'm trying to do is cut it as thin as possible, um, but you know, you don't want it too thin because again, we're gonna hit it with a blowtorch. So another thing, you look at that, that cut right there and you can actually see how fresh it is, right? Still cold to the touch. 
It was bled perfectly. So we're gonna put that on top of the rice. I'm no no sushi chef, but we like to experiment. And again, that, that just goes to say like, anyone getting into fishing, just have some friends come over, catch some fish, tell some stories, you know, look on YouTube, the internet, try to find some recipes you like and add your own twist, twist to it. Honestly, it's so much fun. The fish turns out amazing. Um, you don't have to be perfect at it. Just enjoy it, enjoy the company. So it's the whole thing about fishing. We're glad to have these guys out here from Florida. Like they were saying earlier, we met on Instagram. And now, I mean, they came over here, experienced our fishery, killed it, honestly. They brought a lot of their knowledge over here, so it was really cool to see what they were doing with that. Um, learned a lot from them also, so yeah. If you guys are just watching these videos and wondering if fishing's for you, just get into it. Even if it's starting at a local pond, going to the pier, I mean, it turns into friendships and memories and stuff like that. It'll last a lifetime. Um, obviously there's going to be a lot of people watching this that are laughing at how I'm cutting this, which is fine. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's going to taste great. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. You guys, you're going to like it. These guys are going to like it. That you was so nice. Yeah, dude, you dropped the mic on that one. Like you can't top that. Literally, that tear, more like teardrop. <laughs> teardrop? Oh, yeah. Man. Wow. I wasn't really going for that, but more inspirational, but I'll take teardrop. Victor and Brooke were nice enough to, to bring some of these Dexter knives over and just straight out of the package, just fantastic. I mean, super sharp, all different si uh, sizes, all, all the stuff you need, especially for West Coast. I mean, they brought it over. Where are they based out of, by the way? Massachusetts. Okay, so. Made in USA. Made in the USA, which is fantastic. The last one. Look at this. Little tail sushi going down. So what we're gonna do now is just add the sauce on there. Um, once the sauce is on, we'll hit it with the blowtorch and then add the cilantro and then enjoy it. A little torch just so the fish starts to change color just a little bit. You can see the sauce actually kind of change the color too. Just like that, just caramelize it. Coming in hot. <laughs> We torched it, looks great. Victor had uh, the idea to put some cilantro on, that, on there, so we're gonna throw a little cilantro on each one, and then we're gonna hit it with sesame seed. Put that one on the upside down, that one's gonna taste different, but <laughs> that's okay. So it's just a little sesame seed, just for a little crunch. Um, one little dollop of sriracha, not only for color, but for heat. And life without spice is not fun. Here we go. That is incredible. I mean, for someone, you guys know we've eaten so many fish on this channel. This fish speaks volumes. It is that good. Dude, the sauce, the ponzu, the soy, the little bit of sriracha, killed it. Killer idea. You get that like little bit of torch flavor, caramelize that sauce on there, it's really good. Seriously, it's it's amazing. It's really good. You guys gotta dig in. You gotta nice. try this. It's unbelievable. Yep. Next. Get in there, Dylan. This one is more decked out than the first time we did it similar to this. Let's try it. Mm. You did it a lot of justice, man. Good? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. Awesome, awesome. I do really like the cilantro with it. Yeah, that's, that's like a yeah. key point there. Great addition. Super Thanks, good. Victor. This is my third one right here. Yeah. Love yellowtail, love it like this. Usually we don't sear it, we'll, we'll do it raw. We cut it up as poke, we do it just by itself. But doing it seared with all the extra stuff on it, super, super good. So we're gonna do a little poke now. Um, yellowtail is a very good fish to make poke style. It's got a ton of flavor. So in this bowl, I just got a little bit of diced avocado, some sliced scallion, then there is our yellowtail right there. I also have a little bit of ginger, I have like, probably two tablespoons of minced ginger in each of this. And we're gonna flavor our poke with a little bit of eel sauce. Oh, there's also cucumber in here as well. You guys just can't see it, but we're gonna drizzle a little eel sauce into there. Eel sauce, if you guys have never had it, it's, we've made it homemade on the channel before. It's soy sauce, mirin, and sugar. It's a thick, real sweet and salty substance, super savory, um, adds a really nice flavor to it. And then sriracha. If you guys are not familiar with it, it's a, like a spicy chili style sauce. Very popular in sushi dishes. 
Not too spicy. Most people can handle it. We're gonna do a little bit. So you wanna get some fat content in there, aside from the avocado. We're gonna do a little spicy mayo. To get some aromatics in there, we're gonna do some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds give a nice crunch and also just a real vibrant smell. You could also do sesame oil, which I think we have. Sesame oil is super strong, so just like a teaspoon in each. You got a lot of really rich flavors in there. The sriracha, the avocado, the spicy mayo, which is like super savory and fatty flavors. So rice vinegar, any type of acid is gonna kind of cut through it. And acid just really makes your mouth water. Um, it really complements fats in a dish. So toss some rice vinegar in there as well. Now we give it a toss. Everyone can get a little bowl. We just got some sushi rice, some short grain rice right here. And then you just put this right on top of your rice. You kind of just eat it all together. Super delicious, really healthy, and um, just the best, most natural way to eat fish, completely raw. First impression, poke yellowtail, what'd you think? It was absolutely delicious. Oh, good. Um, very excited to catch something that is new to us and eat it. And as fresh as it was, it was a 10 out of 10. Very good. It paired super well with all the fresh vegetables. Had yellowtail lots of times, made pokey lots of times. This was really, really good. I like the spicy and the sweet with the sesame and the rice vinegar. A little bit more than I normally do. I don't normally do it with the avocado and the extra fat, you know, goes a long way with this dish. and. Did a super great job on it. First time with the yellowtail, catching it, cooking it, loved it. We, we both loved it and we're local SoCal guys. Yeah, honestly, like Dylan just said, a little bit more went into it than we normally do. We just keep it simple just because we haven't tried any of this, but like the ginger, um, the sesame oil, and then when you put the eagle sauce in there, that sweetness is just fantastic. And it still has a kick from that sriracha, so great job. Enjoyed? It was delicious. I loved it, it was really fresh really amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. Brooke and I would not be in California filming, making videos, having the times of our lives. So thank you once again, and we'll catch you in the next one.